In a male-dominated world, it is not always easy for minority women to have freedom of belief. Yet, it is one of the most basic human rights. Even today, the majority of the world still faces limitations when it comes to practicing the religion. Some women are at higher risk, not only as religious minorities, but also due to their gender. Here's the story of a woman who courageously took a stand for freedom in the face of extreme circumstances, and she helped create a movement that works to bridge a huge gap in religious belief. I grew up with women leaders in my house. My grandmother was a Pakistan movement leader, so that's what I grew up with, seeing women in leadership. I went to Saudi Arabia when I got married, and that's when I saw a very different side of Islam being practiced. My daughter was born in Saudi Arabia, and the moment she was born, I realized I wanted her to be a very free person, so I moved to America. Life for Muslims changed after 9-11, drastically. Today, we've had a national tragedy. Two airplanes have crashed, into the World Trade Center in an apparent terrorist attack on our country. All of a sudden, we were suspects. We were the people who had attacked uh, the Twin Towers. All of a sudden, our kids were being called terrorists in classroom. As Muslims traveled back and forth from America, they were stopped at the border. And so we decided that as mothers, we're going to come forward and do something. And so it was important to work with the Muslim community, with the women, and make sure that they understand, one, what rights they have and what job they have to do as parents, um, as mothers, to ensure that their children are going to be a part of the American society as they grow up. And also make sure that Americans understand why we're in America, that we are a peaceful community. We came here to live our life freely, to practice our religion freely, and to integrate in a beautiful country called America. And so we founded AMWEC. AMWEC was that platform that gave women a voice. They were no longer silenced. Building a community um, that is resilient to extremism, it's important that we tackle anti-Semitism, hate for other communities. And unless we reckoned with our own community, we weren't going to improve, we weren't going to challenge ideas and we weren't going to change anything. We reached out to the US government with open arms, they welcomed us and we started a lot of the programs that today um, we're really proud of as AMWEC. We have mentorship, we have programs, careers in government, we work with FBI, DHS and we get women jobs in government. We're a religious minority and we have equal rights in America. We practice our religion freely without any fear. We want the same for everybody, especially in Pakistan. So we decided that we would go to Pakistan and hold the first women-led um, religious freedom roundtable. And it turned out to be a roaring success. Why? Because the people wanted that conversation. They were all hungry to talk about the importance of being free, being who you want to be, and that the religion, Islam, allowed it. Pakistan's constitution allowed it. Young people always say, what can I do, but I'm just one person. No, you're not. You are part of many. If you do this, others will follow. And you can always start by impacting change in the group of people around you. So do something, speak up, don't be silent, and don't let anyone keep you silent.